Okay, I just got this kit in the mail today it's from Guitar Kit World. Um, I haven't uh, opened it up at all. I figured I'd do that on camera and um, see what we have. So, the box is in pretty good shape. Um, there was some movement in there, but we'll see what it looks like once I get it open. Oh, this is my first kit ever. Um, usually I work with secondhand or, you know, junky kind of guitars. And this has a very beautiful grain. Um, this is going to look nice. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a lot of pictures and insert them in uh, of all the parts. Um, anyway, I think it looks really nice. It's all mahogany. Um, and what I like, I like how they put their, uh, their logo here because it's nice when you take a guitar apart that you can see where, where it's actually from. That's really cool. Okay. So there's the body. It smells really good too. Um, um, here's the neck. Here's the neck. Oh, that's nice too. Mahogany neck. Looks and feels nice. Um, okay, let's take a look at what's in here. So this is the stuff that was moving, so can't really damage that. And they have, it says here they have tutorials to assist with the assembly. Okay, there's a pick guard, which I may or may not use. I also have a black one around here that was from another guitar that I had. Um, it comes with a cable. And all the electronics. Um... You have to wire this all up yourself. Comes with uh, strings, which I will. I'll use these uh, when I do the initial assembly, and then I'll, up, you know, upgrade them to uh, what I would normally use. Um, it's got the chrome volume and tone knobs. It's got a Gibson-looking um, um, truss rod cover. It's your standard uh, kit tuners. These work pretty good. I've, I have quite a few of these um, that I've used. And the pots are pre-wired, it looks like. So you just have to connect the uh, output jack, the ground, and the... Uh, Pick up. This, uh, I'll sh show pictures of these, but that's the tailpiece. Oh, and it's a humbucker. That's awesome. I was thinking it was going to be a P90, but um, actually I like this better. That's cool. So, jack plate and a plate and an output jack. Obviously, neck screws, and you have the um, the. Uh, control cover for the back. Everything is um, pre-drilled uh, and I was expecting to have to drill the, uh, I thought we'd have to drill the holes for the neck, but that's that's even done for me. Um, I like how it has the ears for the uh, head. A lot of the Epiphones, at least they used to, they would, they would cut the ears off, which doesn't look good. That looks good. Um, so I have a few ideas for the body. Um, I've been doing some like different test uh, pieces with different pieces of wood. Um, 
I might go with this. Originally wanted to do like a uh, silver burst, and then I wanted to do a yellow. So I went to the store to get yellow dye. They were out, and I got this red, and I kind of liked it. I definitely want to do, I'm not a traditional usually builder, but um, with this, I want to keep this forever, and I want to make it tr very traditional. And um, so I'll start in the next few weeks. I'll start assembling this and um, put the videos up of this. And um, if you have any suggestions for uh, like what I should do as far as the paint, I'm open to suggestions. Problem I'm having is I have too many ideas, so I have to pick one of them. But anyway, please follow along, and I'll uh, next few weeks this should be put together. Um, also, I thought this was going to be uh, just dots, but it has these um, pearloid trapezoid. They actually look really good. They look better than my um, old Epiphone Les Paul. I'll show pictures of that. That looks really nice. I like it. Anyway, um, so that's all that's in there, and I'll show all the pictures of this. And thanks for watching. And put a comment down below, any suggestions. And um, I'll uh, still going to do whatever I like to do, but if anyone has a suggestion, and I'll, I can research it. Maybe I'll do that. All right, thanks for watching.